Hey Paul, just wanted to show you that cloud ahoy thing just in case you weren't zooming in and stuff properly. If I go view the flight, uh, you can see Google Earth loads up and obviously you have this this spot here. Now I can change uh, to show the VFR sectional by selecting that. Uh, what would be great actually is if they did show the IFR sectional, and I think I'll probably suggest that to them. Um, but I can zoom in on these images and you can see here you know the green line was obviously my taxi and, and it shows you different parts of the flight here that you can highlight um, and you can see how it even shows you your altitude changes things like that here we did a mist as well coming in the ILS to uh, uh, Sanford and you can also do things like control shift keys to move things around uh, in Google Earth um, but I can bring up the the sectional so we can you can you can see things you know accuracy wise it's it's if I zoom right in every one of these ticks is a tracking of the the flight um, so it, so it has all the stuff you can also do this cockpit view and what cockpit view will do is if we uh, zoom back out and I go to say the the takeoff <clears throat> you can see it zooms around a bit, but if I hit play, I can actually just tell it to speed up. You can see it's as if you're actually flying the flight, and it's using Google Earth as your uh, as your underlay. Now you can actually change that if you wanted to to the section underneath, which is kind of a little crazy because you don't see much, but you get an idea of you know the sorts of things you can do. Um, you can also if I just just stop this and go back to the picket view for a second. You can actually have it show what the winds were doing when you were up there. Um, that kind of thing. So it actually shows you quite a lot of information, but for detail-wise, it's definitely tracking at a really detailed level. 